Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Kemza James. For our new and old subscribers, you're all welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to make a belt with a pocket bag. So guys, for the supplies we'll be needing, I have this scrap of fabric that I've used for previous projects, right? So you don't need you don't even need as much as I have here, depending on the size of the belt that you want to make. Then I have a pair of scissors. Make sure your pair of scissors is nice and sharp. I have this paper stay. Now, the choice of your paper stay or your interfacing depends on how um, stiff you want the belt. You can use that hard one they use for collar and cuffs, right? So you can use that, but I don't want mine too thick. And if you want the fabric, if you want it a little bit softer, you can use something softer than mine. It totally depends on you. Then I'm using an eyelet plier, right? I have this eyelet plier. I'm going to be using it to fix my eyelets, which I have here. If you don't have an eyelet plier, it's totally fine. You can use a nail and then you use like um, a hammer to, or something hard, maybe a hard stone to fix your eyelet so you don't have to have an eyelet plier before you do this you can just use nail to puncture your holes and you use maybe a stone to press down the the side of the the back side of the eyelet plier then i'm using this belt buckle that i got right so guys everything that we're using here is so inexpensive i don't think um for the eyelet and this buckle that's the most important thing right and it's not that expensive guys so you can find this in any store that sells um shoe supplies or bag supplies right so you should be able to find this in any market close to you right so for the fabric i'm using i'm using this long strip of fabric right so if yours is not as long as you want you can join it because even this one i'm going to be joining uh, the fabric so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to cut out the size of the belt that i want that's how wide i want it to be but make sure that the width should match it should correspond to your eyelet your belt buckle right so let's get into work so i'm going to be marking two inches because i want my belt to be 1.5 inch wide so i folded it in half like so and i'm marking two inches i just folded it and gave it a nice press right so i'm marking two inches now you're going to fold it if you have enough fabric you're going to fold it according to the length of the belt that you want so i'm going to be drawing a line you want the line to be really really straight so i'm using my ruler to draw the line and it has to be accurate right to draw this line then i'll go ahead and cut across the line now the length of your belt should be um should be your circumference your waist circumference or wherever you're using the belt plus let's say six to seven inches that's for the belt overlap right so that's what you want to do so if you look at this i have two panels here that's because my length is not that long that's why i made two because i'm going to be joining it along this edge so that would be it and then i might use this excess fabric that i have here to just add a pocket bag to the belt that's just for fancy you can do your straight belt you can add your pocket bag i'm just i just want to add to mine there's you don't have to do this if you don't want to right so now i'll keep this aside then i'm going to bring my paper gun and i'm going to cut out um i'm putting it out three inches um i'm putting three inches right so first off i'll use my my ruler to cut a very to make a straight line across the paper because you can see the edges are rough okay so i'm just going to do a straight line like so so from the line i'm going to be measuring three inches like so now you remember the other side it was um two inches i used and it was on fold so that's actually that's actually um four inches so that one inch is going to be for for joining that on my fabric but this one is three inches and it's not on fold so I'm just doing that because by the time I fold these three inches, it's going to be 1.5 inch, right? So I hope you understand that. So I'm making this on three inches because it's not on fold. But if you want to do it on fold, you make it 1.5 inch. I'm going to go ahead and cut as well. So this is what I have now. 
so you can see if i fold it like so i have 1.5 inches so i'm going to bring back this side <coughs> right then i'll open this one like so and then i'll lay this in between this one then i'm leaving half inch here half inch here Like so then I'm going to go ahead and press this down nicely so guys you can see what it looks like on the inside right I've gone ahead to attach the paper gum and I left half inch here half inch here for sewing then I also went ahead to iron it nicely like so right so now I'm going to go ahead and do the sewing for you to see so let's get into some. So I'm going to go ahead and join these panels to be one. So here we go. This is it. I've been pressed it and I pressed it like this as well. So now I'm going to measure my waist circumference plus six inches that you remember I told you for the belt overlap. So I'm measuring on the length like so my waist circumference plus six inches on this side i'm adding six inches like so then on that point i'm going to just go ahead and chop it off like so then because i want um, the belt to have a certain shape around there right so you're just going to go ahead and do the shape that you want on that side so i'm just going to make like an arc like so so which will mean i'll cut this side as well but that's okay so you shape this side like you want you can see so i have this shape you must not take this shape you can still do the straight shape or any shape you want but i just want this very shape right then i'm going to go ahead and fold it like so now facing this side so that i can close this shape that i have here then i'll go ahead and sew down on that side now i'm going to cut through this sewing allowance like so and then you can see the shape is being altered well i, I kind of feel like i like this shape though so maybe i'll just leave it like this right so by the time you turn it you get this shape here so let's keep this aside now i work on a pocket bag i face um, one side with my paper stay as well then i'm going to be adding uh, my zip sorry i said paper bag um my my the back side of the belt this is just an addition you can totally omit this process right so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to attach uh, this uh, zipper here so that I'll get, so I'm just attaching on one piece. Here we have the second one, but I'm keeping the second one. You can cut this in any shape that you want. It could be rounded, it could be the shape of love. Any shape that you want, you can go ahead and do that, right? So I will be marking, I will mark half inch on this side right i'll mark sorry let's do 0 0.75 on this side 0 0.75 on this side as well right so this will be where our zipper will be from here to this point here so what i'm going to do now is to turn place my zipper like this you can see so i'll turn it this way right so i'll just place the teeth where the teeth of the zipper starts on that point where i marked then i'll go ahead and stitch sorry i'll mark it 
<coughs> so that by the time I'm done, it will look like so. So I'll just go ahead and and stitch starting from here. Cut and press. That's it. This is our bag, right? You can open it like so, drop whatever you have, close it back. So I'm going to go ahead and press this down nicely before I attach it to my belt. So guys, I've done this end of the belt. I'm going to close this other end of the belt, right? So I'll just close this in a straight line. I don't have to do anything fancy here. So I'm going to start stitching, close my belt. So I'm just going to measure that 1.5 like so, right? And I want my belt to be 1.5. So I'm just going to be sewing on the 1.5 sewing allowance. So from here, I'll measure, from this point, I'll measure 10 inches, right? Or this point where I have this breakage, that's where I'll start marking my, that's where I'll start putting my belt. Or you can just measure 10 inches, depending on where you want your pocket to sit, right? So you can start marking, remember we have 6 inches overlap, which we have here. So from the overlap, I'm going to measure another, let's say, four or five inches away so that it will be on one side of my body. So I'm going to start my belt from here, like so. So I'll just have that point at heart as I continue sewing, right? So you can see, this is the point where my... My, the, the point where I marked is so I'm going to measure where the belt is like so right then I'll just stop exactly at the point where the belt can fit then I'll leave that side open right I'll come back to sew it but just hold on then I'll move further and come back to this point then I'll continue sewing from here So I went ahead to turn it over and I ironed nicely. You can see the side that is open as well. I tucked in my sewing allowance as well and I ironed it. So you're going to determine which side you want to be the front side of your belt, either here or here, since the fabric does not have a wrong side. So I'm going to be using either side of it. So I'm going to just go ahead and tuck in this bag. I'm talking in my bag like so. So you just make sure that it's properly tucked in. So I have a little bit of extra, so I'm going to be using a little bit here. Because the... Yeah, so here we go. I have mine like so. So I'm going to be stitching you make sure that you tuck it nicely so that both here and here will be even, right? So I'm going to be sewing it closed. So you will now decide. In, I'm going to still sew all round the belt, but I'm starting from this side because of what I have here. So you make sure that this stitch is as straight as, as possible, right? So you just go ahead and stitch. You don't want any and then you maintain your sewing allowance whatever sewing allowance you started using 
you maintain it. So you can even do um, half centimeter, three quarters of a centimeter. You can do half of a centimeter. That totally depends on you. But let it not be too much. You can't do inches here, guys. It has to be centimeters or millimeters. So this is what I'm going ahead to do. so now i'm going to measure you remember we made six inches allowance here right i'm not using the entire six inch because i used one inch to join this side round and the hem there so i'll be using like um let's do i'll start from four inches because i want my pins to be a little bit away from my from this point right so i'll mark four inches here then i'll mark that with a chalk so in between i'll add half of an i'll make it um you can do one one or half half inch on the way but let me do 0 0.6 the gap between our eyelets right so i'm marking it 0 0.6 so now the number of eyelets you use totally depends on you but let's start with four so now i'm going to find the midpoint of the midpoint of my belt right this is the size of my belt i'm going to divide that by two and that will be the midpoint of my belt right so i'll just make a mark there then on each of that line i'll make a mark because that will be exactly where our eyelet will fit in i'll make a mark so these are my points so I'm going to grab my eyelet plier now. If you don't have an eyelet plier, guys, it's totally fine. You can just go ahead and use um, and use your. You can go ahead and use a a nail. So I'm just going to punch that side. So you can see that's giving. Oh, sorry, you didn't do the whole properly, so you can see. So I'm going to fix my eyelet plier, pl my eyelet on the right side. So this is the right side of my belt. So I'm bringing my my eyelet there. Then I will use my eyelet plier. If you have an eyelet plier and you don't know how to use it, I have a video on where which I taught how to use the eyelet plier. So you can just go ahead and check that out. So you can see one eyelet is done. I'll go ahead and do the second one. Let me show you how to do this with nail in case you don't have an eyelet plier. So for those who don't have eyelet plier, you can use a nice long nail like this. So this is our point, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and you can see. So it's the same result. Then I'll come with my eyelet. For some reasons, guys, I even prefer the the nail side I'll just use my blade to open that properly try to push that in sorry to go over it again see then 
you can just get your nail i don't want to spoil my my table but you can just get your nail and use an object to heat this but i really don't want to spoil my table so i'm going to still be using my highlight plier to match it right so here we go i'll go ahead and fix the rest of camera for so i don't take a lot of time to fix my belt buckle i'm going to have to make on this other end of the belt i'm going to have to make another eyelet hole there right so i'm just going to puncture around here the midpoint here the hole here i'll pass it like so you can see look at the side i'm passing this is where our pin here is going to overlap so i'm passing it on this side then I'll fix the pin like so, then I'll turn it over, you can see, then I'm going to sew here down, right, 